Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am currently a first year nursing student and I am in my first term of nursing school. I have my first dosage calc exam in less than 24 hours. This will be our first exam, so I don't believe it's very complex. It's just regarding administration of oral medication. And then as the year progresses, I'm sure we will be adding many more components. I've been practicing problems for the past couple hours and thought that we could practice together. Let's do it. Six rights of medication administration. Right patient, right time, right medication, right dose, right route, and right documentation. Next, we have D over H times V equals dose. Desired amount over what you have times volume equals dose. Our first problem states that an MD writes an order for 300 milligrams. The pharmacy dispenses us with 600 milligrams per two milliliters. How many milliliters will we administer per dose? First, we will find our desired amount, which is 300 milligrams, and we will put that over the amount that we have, which is 600 milligrams. Next, we will multiply it by our volume, which is two milliliters. The answer ends up being one milliliter per dose. An MD writes an order for three milligrams per kilogram every six hours. The child weighs 73 pounds. The pharmacy dispenses us with 50 milligrams per two milliliters. How many milliliters will we administer per dose? First, we will convert 73 pounds to 33.18 kilograms. Now we will multiply our 33.18 kilograms times three milligrams. We get 99.54 milligrams, which is now our desired amount. We will now place our 99.54 milligrams over our 50 milligrams times 2 milliliters, our desired amount over what we have times our volume. Our milligram units cross out, so the answer will be in milliliters, and we get 3.98 milliliters per dose. MD writes an order for 100 milligrams three times per day. The pharmacy dispenses us with 100 milligrams per five milliliters. How many teaspoons will we administer per dose? Since the question is asking per dose, the three times per day becomes irrelevant. We will take our desired amount, which is 100 milligrams, and place it over what we have, which is 100 milligrams, and multiply it times our volume, which is five milliliters. The result is five milliliters, but the question is asking us how many teaspoons. We need to convert five milliliters into teaspoons. If you look at a conversion chart, you would find out that five milliliters equals one teaspoon. So the answer is one teaspoon per dose. An MD writes an order for 150 milligrams every six hours for 24 hours. Pharmacy dispenses us with 75 milligrams per three milliliters. How many milliliters will we administer daily? We will take our desired amount, which is 150 milligrams, and place it over what we have, which is 75 milligrams, and multiply it times our volume, which is three milliliters. We get six milliliters per dose, but the question is asking us how many milliliters will we administer daily? The patient receives a dose every six hours, which is four times per day. We will take our six milliliters and multiply it times four times per day. And the answer is 24 milliliters per day. MD writes an order for two grams three times a day. 
Pharmacy dispenses us with 500 milligrams per two and a half milliliters. How many milliliters will we administer daily? First, we need to get the desired amount and the amount we have in the same unit. I converted two grams to 2000 milligrams. Next, we will place our desired amount, which is 2000 milligrams, over what we have, which is 500 milligrams, and multiply it times our volume, which is two and a half milliliters. That results in 10 milliliters per dose. The question asks how many milliliters will we administer daily, and the order states that the patient will receive three doses per day. Finally, we will take our 10 milliliters and multiply it three times per day, giving us the result of 30 milliliters per day. I hope this video was helpful for you. I will be sure to let you guys know how my exam goes and I will have links in the description box below for websites you guys can use to practice dosage calc as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!